thanks for tuning into the streets of rage quit you sore losers one half of the duel here with your boy lee casey sitting with jesse bloomhagen what's up guys we get a friggin' awesome treat for you today it fits the moniker of streets of rage quit because we're going to be covering streets of rage 4's mr x nightmare we've got an official launch trailer they're going to be reacting to today jesse doesn't have a lick of any idea as to what this official trailer entails what's part of the mr x nightmare dlc pack but the cool thing is i figured for the channel this is only a minute and 25 seconds long we'll watch this for our initial impressions reaction and then we're actually going to dive into some of the dlc gameplay for the specific modes and brand new characters that are dropping here so i know a bit more about what's in this dlc pack than you do wait so. wait wait can i make a prediction you can make a prediction yeah well, who do you think is going to be in this in this pack yeah i'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say my reaction you're gonna say can, can i reaction? whisper to you yeah Oh, that'd be so crazy. No, it's not. No. Oh, no. okay. Well, I mean, we got to tell everybody now. Okay, I whispered to him that I was going to be Rue. Yeah, we thought, yeah. So Jesse thought it was going to be Rue, but there's a, there's another specific character that you're really going to like in this trailer. Yeah. Okay. So without further ado, let's get this fucking crack a lacking, buddy. Oh, now I think I know who it is. I think you know. You know exactly okay. who I'm talking about. Part of our history, buddy. One of our earliest memories. Yeah. Am I right? Yep. Okay. You might just be. So these are playable characters, right? That's right. Okay. We've got three new playable characters. Buddy. Motherfucking Max Thunder, Shiva. Fuck yeah. Estelle, let's go. We I finally did it. We got, we got. I kind of forgot that Max Thunder wasn't in here. I we, legit just kind of thought he was in there. Yeah. Well, it just seems like a perfect fit considering, you know, he's such an iconic staple for the franchise. You would have thought that he would have already been playable. Yo, but, look at that. Yeah. New weapons. Yeah. Everything, the whole shebang, man. Is the triple still in here? Oh, the chicken definitely is in here. You said there's new game modes too, right? That's right. There's game modes. There's brand new ways to fight with already playable characters. It gets a brand new stuff too. We get that free update going for the game as well. We got palette swaps, dude. Woo! Mania difficulty. Training mode. And look at this one. If they say it. I don't know if they're going to mention it in this trailer. If they don't, I'll tell you what I'm talking about after. 101 combo? Are you fucking kidding me right now? So they didn't show it. They've got a survival mode oh, and training yeah. mode. Yeah. So basically we got Max Thunder, Shiva, and Estelle are finally fucking playable in this game. I knew the moment that I saw Max Thunder, I'm like, listen, we gotta get, we gotta get not only a reaction, but we gotta dive into the gameplay for this. And that's not Estelle Getty. Let's let's not mistake that right here. <laughs> no, no, this is it's the, the real better, It's the better one. It's yeah. the fucking real one. The realest in the room. So let's do it. Let's, let's, do play, it. Some, let's play some Streets of Rage. Oh. That's right. Let's go. Mr. X Nightmare D. Oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're too excited. Mr. X Nightmare DLC coming up right now. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. All right. We've got the Mr. X Nightmare DLC. It's time to jump into not only a new mode, but some new characters with palette swaps as well. We're going to click survival here. We've got two controllers, me and Jesse, at the helm of this stuff. Mr. X Nightmare. Look, they've got some deep lore for a survival mode, buddy. Only Dotemu can do that. After putting a stop to the Y Twins' nefarious activities, our heroes realized that they would need to prepare for anything. They went to Dr. Zan, like Dr. Xanax for help, you know, fucking prescribe some of that shit. <laughs> From the remains of Mr. X's brain, he built a machine to replicate the twisted mind behind it all. A powerful AI able to simulate anything that they encountered that they might face fearlessly. We're going to jump into the simulation, that endless challenge ahead of them. The ultimate trial, Mr. X Nightmare. So we're going to select that, buddy. Do that random simulation. The rules of survival. In survival mode, you fight through an infinite number of randomly generated enemies. You get one life. You only get one life to live. It's like a soap opera, buddy. And guess what? Every time you complete a level, you can choose a perk. You gain stars with points. Guess we're going to find out what all of that entails right now. Let's jump in. So, of course, we got to go with uh, one of the three brand new characters that is included with a Mr. X Nightmare DLC. Jesse's going to choose Shiva. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Max Thunder, my boy. Come here, you fuck. If the Smash guy was announcing these characters, he'd be like, Max. Yeah. Max Thunder. Shiva. <laughs> it's like Bowser yeah. Jr. <laughs> Shiva. Estelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was asking this because we, we had a couple tries of this with technical difficulties. That's right. If you could choose one rep from Streets of Rage to be in Smash, who would it be? I would have to say, um, was that you or is that? I told you, man. Why does it do that? I'm not doing anything. Okay, that's like, bro. Yes. There we go. Technical difficulties aside, if you could choose the Smash Brothers rep for Streets of Rage, who would it be? My choice has to go with Blaze Fielding. How about you? Ooh. I mean, you can't really can't go wrong with Axel, Blaze, Gate. 
Yeah, yeah. There's probably a large crowd that wants Rue. Yeah, yeah. Big crowd would love Rue, but I don't think Rue would make it in, you know, over the, the main three from the Genesis, you know what I'm talking about? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that all three can get in, and they're just, they're on the, like, you know how, like, Minecraft has Steve, Enderman, Zombie, all as, like, one character? Oh, so the palette swaps? Palette swaps. I think, yeah. I think that's what you had to do for this. That'd be cool. Because you just... You... But they all, they all have different moves, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's tough, it's tough right? Unless, unless okay, here's the thing. Unless they have the, the original three from the Genesis and then just make them, like, echo fighters of each other, that'd I'm, be cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Oh, like, if you, like, pick one over the other, it'd be, like... It'd be faux pas, right? Like, it'd be hard to, like satisfy everybody that's true yeah everyone's got their favorite right well yeah no like, matter the, what this isn't like a super huge fighting game but it's still pretty big right well it paved the way for a lot of beat-em-ups i would say this and river city ransom oh, double dragon you know very big one final fight was big on super nes right yeah so I, rival turf yeah you know so I, I think streets of rage representation would be fantastic but i got to give it to one of the main three from the old school genesis game i like i would personally pick blaze because i just i feel like like, I'm a Blaze man. Like, I've always loved playing Blaze Fielding when, you know, when we threw down in the Sega Genesis games. If you even go back and watch our old Let's Plays, you'll see that I'll always pick Blaze Fielding, first and foremost. Like, I'll give everybody a shot, but that's always my main squeeze. But I think yours was Axel, right? Yeah, it was Axel. Yeah. And I mean, like, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Axel. thinking, like, maybe, like, those two if you had to come down between Blaze and Axel. Yeah, for sure. How do you feel about the, the revamp? on Axel's design in Streets of Rage 4. Like, like he looks like he's like a lumberjack fucking, Dude. just he just hiked out of the mountains, ready to go after like 10 years of well, solitude. Well, that's right. Everyone's been 10 years of solitude. Yeah. So it kind of matches up with like, how we perceive these guys that be aged, you know, 10, 15 years. So I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. I like when games come back after a while and they kind of own up to like, it's been that long and they age their characters just as well. Yeah, they, they canonically acknowledge that it's been that long. So, you know, everybody's jumping right back into the action right where we left off. It's like when I played Gears of War 4 after Gears of War 3 after, like, I don't know, six, seven years. Right, right. Yeah, it just, they aged everybody. It was kind of cool to see. And I'm sure there's a ton of other examples, but... For sure. That's the first that comes to mind. Definitely, man. Well, you know what? I've, it's been a while. It's been a couple of months since I've played Streets of Rage 4. And, you know, the one thing that I can take away from here is that, you, you know, like how with characters like Cherry Hunter, like, the, like she has the double tap yep. and Skate used to have double tap. I keep thinking because I've been playing some other beat em up games in the last few months here that these characters would have double tap, but they don't. So everybody is kind of operating differently. But the really cool thing is like everybody has like brand new added moves. It's it's great to see some of these old school characters get some revitalization, especially Shiva, because Shiva is like, did you die? Pretty beefy. I'm done. I'm done. So I think you get to grab whatever you need. Okay, revive dead players. Let's pick that. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. See? We should read what we're getting. Yeah, exactly. Go through the Stargate portal. <laughs> yeah, basically. Or the Oblivion Gate. That's right. Uh, Thanks for that revival, man. NP. Appreciate I could, it, buddy. I could have did you dirty and just pick the other one. Dude, remember this guy? Yeah, I remember this Barbon? guy. Barbon? This guy fucks. He kind of looks like? We talked That's about just, this. Okay. Remember? Yeah. Do you remember? I can't remember who you said he looked like, though. Really? The guy from Footloose? No. No, we made him gay. Yes, we did make that joke. But yeah. now that I see him again with the mustache, he looks like a young, ripped Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. But didn't we say that in our, our last no, playthrough, too? Yeah, yeah, I think we called him something else, and we got the name completely wrong of who it was actually in Footloose. You're right. Because in Footloose, it was... Oh, why the is Swayze? it? Keep... No. That was Patrick Swayze in Footloose? The Swayze? Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. Friendly Fire's turned on, apparently. That's okay. I've hit you a couple times now, so... It's all good, buddy. I don't feel so bad. But no, so for people who don't know what we're talking about, like we we made that we made a joke for, with Barbon in our Streets of Rage 4 playthrough because we beat the game start to finish on Streets of Rage quit many months ago. Like it was actually around this time last year. Yep. And we made the joke of what Get Barbon reminded us of. I'm trying to grab that apple. But no, he, he definitely has like this iconic look to him. He's he's very relative in like Hollywood, Here, I I'll, guess, depiction. You you take care of the other shitty guys, and I'll take care of this guy. Okay. That's like good ass hand to me. No, he just looks like a young, ripped Burt Reynolds, that's all. You know what? Then, if he looks like a young, ripped Burt Reynolds, he's living his best life, buddy. Yeah, we killed him. We killed him. It's over. We fucked his day up. <laughs> Look at our health. Okay, hold on. Let's okay, read. let's read some of these. So, that's glass cannon. What's you your do 100% more under? damage? Yeah, but you take 100% more. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah. Old school rules? I would... Gain I would do that. Key yeah. to the battle, yeah. Okay. Not gonna lie, I think survival mode is pretty cool. Except we're on the bridge of dying. That's okay. Level five. level five, though. Threat level's rising. 
I'm scared. Oh, it's like a little side mission. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Those people. Oh, shit. It's the police. Man, fuck the police. <laughs> But you know what they kind of look like? Since they're wearing yellow, they look like ball cops. They look like Paul Blart. Yeah, they do. But just ripped. Like 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 if Paul Blart like fucking like jacked. Just jacked as to shit, buddy. Like all they do 18 hours a day is work out. Bro, if there was like a, a, a canonical universe where Paul Blart was actually not like a, a fucking sack of shit, and he fucking he worked out like rude much. <laughs> like jeez, what if fucking Kevin or what's his name? Um like uh, I can't remember. Kevin Hart? No, no, not Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Not Kevin Hart. What's what's this guy's name again? Oh, um, Kevin James. Yeah, yeah. What did Kevin James ever do to you? Well, no, I'm not talking about Kevin hey, James. Get the apple. Get the apple. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about Kevin James the person. I'm talking about the character because the character is lazy. Yeah. Like he's he's, he's like a fucking yeah he is he's a fucking. It's been awesome to see Mal or uh, Paul Blart. Yeah, he's Paul Blart is a lazy fucking sack of shit in the movie. Okay, speaking of ripped characters, have you seen Mark Wahlberg's uh, like daily workout routine? I have. Is that fucking that. insane, dude? Yeah, he's kind of crazy. Dude, that guy's... Ugh. Wahlberg is from uh, your boy's hometown. Boston. Boston. Boston, buddy. Oh, no. Dude, I'm gonna die. I got a Robocop over here. Bro, I believe in you. You got a tick of life, though. <laughs> Remember when I said I believed in you? Oh! I was just joking. <laughs> See me <laughs> reaching over. Fuck! Okay, whatever. Get to level five. I'm okay with that. Got to level five, and yeah. I, and I beat Casey, so I'm, I'm even better. Did you okay beat me? Oh, yeah. I, I got beat. first place. You I had to resurrect you once. Look at the fucking, look at the result. I got first place. Yeah, well, it's because I brought your carcass back once. 1-800-EAT-MY-NUTSACK. Hang on a sec, I was reading that. What the hell is that? We unlock survival artwork pack. Bro, one. in the next DLC pack, that character is going to be playable. Stickman? Yeah, Stickman for Streets of Rage. All right. Yeah, let's do it up. <laughs> Unlocked survival artwork pack number one. We go to continue. So as, just like you're playing like the regular levels and stuff, I guess you can, you can, you can max out some of the stats on these characters too, which is super cool. We've got 50, 44 my points. You had 48, 46. We were very close, you know, to be honest with you. So the best level ever we've had, level five, but the, your next reward is at level 10. We just wanted to dive into a little bit of these brand new modes and some of these brand new characters just to offer the experience to you guys over on our channel here because, you know, I think our initial reaction to not just the trailer, but the gameplay impressions is really important to us. We're obviously big fans of Streets of Rage. I'm going to be playing this for many days to come. I could actually, like, I probably play this on live stream when i get back from calgary in a couple of days i think it'd be a lot of fun just just keep going at it try to get better at survival mode and see if i can make it all the way to the end but i'm really liking what they they put in so far the pallet swaps are fantastic we finally have estelle shiva and max thunder baby that iconic friggin stature of characters Ooh, buddy we're fucking here all day i really hope that they do more dlc what do you think i love <laughs> man we need more channel off of streets of rage of course this game is the bomb man that's right i'm all i'm all for this dlc i was telling casey i really hope we see rue in a future pack yes i know i'm preaching to the choir but bring it on let's do it let's do it up and so just and just playing this now i'm like fuck i kind of want to get back and do it so that would be like your number one most requested character be rue probably I mean, yeah like, we have so many characters now but like right bring back our boy man gotta get what rue ever do to anybody <laughs> it's, it's really it's a fucking kangaroo i'm sorry <laughs> it's really <laughs> rude to not have rue exactly. <laughs> honestly though i think dotemu knows that you know we we obviously we love the series and everybody who's working over at the, the streets of rage 4 team and dotemu like they love it too like it's got the mania treatment you know you can definitely tell that it's in the palms of the right hands diehard fans just like your boys here playing it let us know in the comments down below who you want as a dlc character think of some stages that you might like to see brought back into uh the realm of streets of rage 4 anything that you would like to add specifically or purposefully into this next dlc pack if they decide to do one what are some of your thoughts let us know in the comments down below man my leading thought would be bring back that underground bus level with the tank that goes across from yes. Streets of Rage 3. 3, the third one? Yeah, bring yep. that motherfucker back. Yep. See, Hell yeah. We, honestly, we could be talking about this all fucking day, but we're going to leave the rest of the conversation to you guys. Let us know what you'd like to see. You already know what we'd love to see. We love seeing you on this channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you've enjoyed what you saw today, share with a friend who might like Streets of Rage, and we'll see you for the next exciting episode of Streets of Rage Quit. Hell yeah. Later, everybody. Peace out. I'll sleep